hoping to see some action. Some random action. But you never know. Got some police flare. Damn. Oh, uh, my house some action. What well, the hell? It went past me at 100 miles per hour. We get over and see what kind of action we got going on. Okay, pull it over right here. Damn, is he stopping traffic? Damn, I can't see him with his pit. I'm getting up on this side. Losing speed, shit. Is that a high speed chase or what? Can't see shit. Get this left lane for no reason. Trying to be nosy. Mr. Mr. Peter Bill, I see you. I see the police now. I'm shit. Time to see if we got a high speed chase tonight. Everybody flying by about 100 something miles per hour with their lights on. What's going on? Is it a spike strip coming or what? Police look like he's leading us. Man, let me know if I need to if I need to get on the shoulder or something. Shit. He just go by me for no reason that fast. Unless of course he's above the law. Because nowadays the police, they don't really they don't really follow by the laws. The police, you know, they, they got their own speed limit, which is basically as, as fast as you can go. Uh, looks like he's Looks like he got off over there to the right. I guess he was just trying to see how fast his goddamn car could go. It's a damn shame. Speed warning. Oh, he's breaking the goddamn laws. They don't go over. Uh, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Thought I would come on here and make a video for the day. I was going to get y'all with an April Fool's video, but I didn't know today was April Fool's until I started watching YouTube, okay? It's too late. I've been asleep all day. Got about an hour left on my sleeper birth clock, and then I'm heading home from Indiana, Indianapolis. So, it's nighttime now. Sun's down. Smooth selling from here, plus it's Saturday. So, it'll be smooth selling. 57 miles per hour, save on fuel. Um, right now I'm getting fuel for $2.04 through my company. If y'all want to know what fuel card I'm using, I'm not using any fuel cards. Ever since I've been in this company, I, I haven't used any of my fuel cards. And uh, the main reason for it is none of my fuel cards beat this particular company's fuel discount. You know, uh, I told y'all I was getting fuel for $2.10. I didn't have none of my cards gave me a discount that large off the original price of like, I don't know, $2.50 back in Nashville. Now this company is down to $2.04, plus I get free DEF. I can't, beat the, I can't beat the company's discount, so I've been using my company card. Not mine, but the company I work for is Fuel Card. So, um, that's what I've been doing. Now, don't get me wrong, now I do use my fuel card um, just one time just to just to uh, make sure it reports to business credit reporting agencies but I haven't needed them um, yet since I don't get a discount as large as this particular company but got some questions about leasing uh, a gentleman wanted to know 
why did I choose the 695 truck noted quality versus the 595 or the 495 or the 395, okay? Well, when I went to quality, the 695 trucks was, you could get the Freightliner straight off the dealership floor over at the Freightliner dealership. The, you know, they uh, basically what quality was doing, they had a settle that went from quality over the Freightliner. You go in there and get your brand new 2016 no mileage truck, okay? Or they hit the Pro Stars. Well, between the Freightliner engine, the, uh, I think it was a DD15, and the Cummins ISS15, this Cummins is way more reliable in my opinion. And uh, the Pro Star offered more room. So I picked this particular truck with this particular engine that has gave me absolutely no issues whatsoever. Only thing I came out of my pocket within this uh, 11 months of me leasing this quality truck is like $1,500 for basic maintenance, basic oil changes, and lubrication. That's it. That's all I didn't pay in 11 months. You know it's hard to believe. I know y'all, I know it's quality. The engine's supposed to fall out, smoke, and do all this shit. Like, yeah, not everybody, but majority of the people go to quality. They're going to have, they truck, they're going to have a lot of truck problems, okay? It is what it is. They didn't do any research. They went, they tried to go with the cheaper truck, you know, which I'm finna talk about. So, um, between the 595 and the 695, the 595 trucks didn't have APU units on them, okay? They didn't have APU units on them. So, what does that mean? Well, in the wintertime, obviously, I got to idle the truck. Uh, riding up north, you try to leave the truck off and sleep in the sleeper bump back here, you waking up to like 5 degrees, 10 degrees of weather, okay? And on top of not having an APU unit, they didn't they didn't have power inverters, okay? Like my particular truck, okay? Which means, like I said, I got an idle the truck. Well, the difference between 595 and 695 is $100. If you idle the truck, let's say, um... In the winter time, okay, from October to um, uh, March, or maybe you can even say November to March, okay. You idle the truck that's a gallon an hour, ten hours, ten gallons. How much is ten gallons? Two dollars and fifty cent a gallon. Let's just say two dollars a gallon. Uh, two and ten is twenty dollars. Throw in the fifty cent. Just say thirty dollars a day of idling. Thirty dollars a day, seven days a week. That's more than a hundred dollars. It's cheaper to just go ahead and get the goddamn six ninety five truck note. Then you can get this bitch back here. This little uh, panel back here that runs off the battery. You got the heat switch. You got the air conditioner. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. This right here. Yeah, this that this that new technology right here. That's, this is this is what you get when you pay an extra hundred dollars. You see, you got the heat, the heat switch and the air switch. I got the air switch on right now. You hit this button. You know what I'm saying? You control the temperature right here. You can see how. And then you got the power inverter button right here. You just press the on button. And you see how I got my laptop right here? It's plugged up. You see that? You see how I got the wall outlet. And then on top of that, you know microwave, you know shit like that. But anyways. That's, that's what the extra hundred dollars got me. The wall outlet, the power inverter, and the, uh, what you call this thing back here? Uh, shoot. The thing that runs off the battery. The EPU, that's what it's called. I think it's EPU. That's what the extra hundred dollars gave me, okay? On top of that, it gave me less miles on the truck. Uh, I got my truck. It was down there brand new. Only had one driver before me who crashed the truck, brought it back to quality. Uh, it had about 30,000 miles when I got it. I'm up to 110,000 miles now. So, But uh, between the 695 truck and the 495 truck, now you're getting into needing some real maintenance done to it. Because you got to think, these are quality trucks. The truck drivers that go to quality plan... Every, pretty much almost majority of the truck drivers to go to quality, they plan to do $0 worth of maintenance, okay? They don't plan to do oil changes, tire changes, 
lubrication. They don't plan to pop the hood. No shit like that. It's pretty much run the truck until it break down, bring back the quality. Okay, that's just that's just how it works. Okay, the 495 trucks, you anything can go wrong with them. Just look at the match forces. Okay, I, I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, if you go to quality and just look at, just go find any truck they got on the line for 495. Okay. You can't just sign that lease and walk off the walk off the lot. Everything is not gonna be alright. You got to sign that lease, put that truck in quality in quality shop, and wait how long you gotta wait for them to fix the issues you found, which is probably gonna be some type of air leak, oil leak, some type of leaks. You're gonna have some type of problem with that 495 truck. And the problems are not going in, okay? Because you gotta understand. Nobody did maintenance. And because the problems are not going in, because see what's going to happen, you're going to have so many problems, you're not even going to have the money to fix it. So when you turn the truck back in, guess what's going to happen to the next driver? <laughs> the same thing. It's, it's, a, it's a daily maintenance cycle, okay? That's why I didn't get the 495 truck. The 395 trucks are better than the 495 trucks because the 395 trucks, that's your million mile trucks up at quality. That's your W900, your Freightliner, Century, Century, and your Columbias. Those are your port trucks. That they don't have the DEF and the EGR, okay? So, better, they're gonna be a little bit better than the 495 trucks that's got the EGR, the DEF, and no just daily maintenance cycles and shit like that, okay? But anyways, that didn't make no sense, but whatever. That's why I went with the 695 truck. I'm not telling you to go up there and get you a 695 truck, but they didn't change now. This used to be the highest truck note they 